Come on, come over here. Oh, if my cat will stop bumping into my tripod, we might get this filmed. So thanks for joining us. We are here to do a print review. About 10 years ago, I was working the fine art circuit at art shows in Florida and down in the Southeast and, and locally as well. So I was engaged in my own fine art print making. And at the time I had an Epson 9600 large format printer. And some of you may know that maintaining a large format printer takes quite a bit of an effort. But I enjoyed the whole process. As you know, there's so much to really nail down as you go through the process in soft proofing and gam understanding gamut. And well, here we have Kylo has to be in the show. Um, but uh, I, I went back to my original career and um, got away from making my own prints because it's just so much. And I was at the time, 10 years ago, we were starting to get into canvas prints. And I really enjoyed that. And of course, everything I did was built around having museum quality output. So on the canvas prints, I was treating them with the museum coating. And of course, that was quite a bit of an effort to get everything to work out there. But to get something to look good on canvas that looks good on a backlit monitor, LCD, LED monitor, uh, takes quite a bit of effort and you have to do a lot of soft proofing. So everything had to be archival in nature from the paper used, the inks used, the mat, the tape for the mat, the backing board, the glass. I was, I always used museum quality glass and I don't think many people appreciated that because it's anti-reflective, it's UV resistant, and it really guarantees the life of the print, it won't fade. Just so many, you see in corporate environments, so much artwork that just fades within literally a couple of years. Having archival quality is very important to me and it should be to you. So step fast forward to, uh, to 2020 and of course, during all that time, I, I'd seen printing start to move into different, different materials from acrylics to aluminum. And I never got into aluminum. Aluminum was just coming in 10 years ago when I was uh, exiting the fine art printing. So I always wanted to do it. So I had a uh, friend, he wanted to have one of my prints and this is of the Seneca Rocks Milky Way. And Bay Photo offers a sample of their aluminum prints. So I, wanted, I thought this would be a great way to uh, see exactly how this print looks in all of their formats. So here's what you get when you order this from Bay Photo. Bay Photo goes from uh, matte finishes to a mid gloss to a uh, higher gloss output. So Kylo, we don't need you up here right now. Um, so let's take a look at some of their, their matte finishes. This is their sheer matte, and it's an interesting presentation. And of course, as you know, some of the considerations in picking your fine art print is how much light do you have in the room and how much reflection is there going to be. So in the sheer matte, they, they do something with the ink that, in this case, the Milky Way has a very three-dimensional look to it. I don't think it works for this print, but I tell you where I think this could work is if you had some narrow band imaging and the, and the image covered the entire canvas, I think that would look pretty cool. But I don't, don't like it with this particular image, but it's nice to see how it looks. Now this is the actual print I decided to recommend to my customer. This is their satin option. And I have a lot of light going on here and you can see it really just blurs the, the direct light and I think it allows you to really dive into the image. Now it may not have the contrast, the local contrast that you get with something like a high gloss, but we'll look at that here in a second. But I really like the way this presents for this particular image and I think for a lot of astronomical images. And this is what they call their satin option. And so that's what we went with here in the enlarged 24 inch uh, print 
and I think it looks very nice. You can see it doesn't, the reflections can be avoided largely. You can, it doesn't take a whole lot of head movement and it really is a diffuse glow rather than a bright glow. So I think it looks really nice for this particular image. Now you get into the mid gloss. Actually, I like the mid gloss. As you can see here, it still does some diffusion of the direct light. It doesn't, and it still provides some nice contrast. So that's, that's a good option. I, I like that. But still, if you have a lot of light in the room, you want to be mindful of that. This sheer gloss, these are, this, these are kind of brothers and sisters here. There's one called sheer matte and one called sheer gloss. And if you can see there, they both have that three-dimensional effect on the Milky Way. And so it's like the inks have really highlighted. It has an extra reflective uh, tone to it. It's a golder tone and it actually works on the rocks. But again, I think it really needs a full canvas image. I think, like I said, narrow band images might work real well. In this particular case, I like the sheer gloss over the sheer matte better. So that would, if I had an image that I thought would benefit from this sheer effect, I would probably go with the sheer gloss. And then there's high gloss. Now I really like the high gloss. It has nice local contrast to it. But as you can see, if you have direct lighting in the room, it's almost mirror-like. So that's something to consider if you can get away from a lot of direct light or you have a way to position your head at an angle that you can avoid the light, then, then this works very nicely. But uh, the high gloss is, is very nice. It has a, a very nice contrast to it. And, um, but again, if you're looking for, and, and that would work like on a, if you had it on a desk uh, or if you had a smaller presentation, then the reflecting light might not be as as distracting. But for a print, this is a 24 inch print. For a print this size, I really like it diffusing those, that direct light. And it allows you to really just dive into the scene a little bit, a little bit better in my opinion. So that's what we went with in this case. This was the, what they call the satin finish for the Seneca rocks. And I encourage you to explore this. Now I'm going to really dive into the acrylic output that Bay Photo offers, but right now due to COVID-19, they really are listing an extended delay on the acrylic production. So I'm not sure why that is happening, but I want to uh, get into some of the acrylic output. So I am uploading onto my website, all the images that I think look well printed out in at least a 24 inch size format. And if you're interested in any print of any image, just let me know, we can work on it. But um, I like this format. And uh, what's interesting is Bay Photo does the color correction for you. So for someone who did their own color profiling and color matching all the way through to the print process years ago, that took a little bit of a leap of faith, but I'm pretty pretty comfortable with what they do with the data that you send. Now make sure you just follow, they have the guidelines on the formatting of the image that they like to receive. Just follow all their guidelines on their website. You upload it, you select the, the material, the print. They have a couple of different hangers, hanger options. In this case, I go with, I think what they call their floating hanger. So this can just sit on the wall and it has some separation. You can uh, get it to where it'd be mounted in a, in just a tripod on the desk for, for some of these smaller formats. So they have a lot of nice options. Oh, and the price, you know, back in the day, it was a hundred dollars for a old 24 by 30 museum glass, just the glass, a hundred plus dollars. So this print is $115. That's with shipping, that's total. So I think it's a really nice option for a very archival, very modern type of a presentation for astronomical prints that I really like at a pretty affordable price. 
So uh, if you're interested, let me know. We can get some prints to you. I know wall space is precious, but if something really jumps out at you that you'd like to have, just let me know. We, we can work out something for your home or office. I take this part of the output very seriously. So uh, that's what I wanted to do is give you just a print review. And uh, thanks a lot for stopping by Jeff Ball Photography's YouTube channel. If you like us, give us a like, subscribe. We've got a lot of cool content coming. And uh, thanks again. And until next time, clear skies.